Hello everyone, my name is Andre and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to show, show you guys something cool. Finally bought a new tripod. This time it's actually, it's sort of a cheap tripod but still it's the most expensive tripod I ever bought. Well the name race already tells that it's cheap, it's the Weifang WT3770. This is a 165cm tall tripod and we're going to open it up. So yeah, basically this tripod is as tall as I am. And counting with the uh, iPhone or phone uh, mount on top of it, this thing is actually taller than I am. This thing is 167 centimeters tall without, without this uh, little mount over here. And uh, with this mount, it is actually taller than I am. Like this tip goes above my head. Because I am 167 centimeters tall, so... I've officially bought a tripod that's taller than, than, that's taller than me, actually. So, let's put the camera on top of it. This tripod claims to have a hydraulic head, although this is, there's nothing hydraulic about this head. It's just a better uh, contact point between these two parts right over here. Uh, but it's not, like, by far, it's not a, uh, it's not a hydraulic mount. It's smooth, sort of but it's not a hydraulic mount. Let's mount the camera in there and give you some pans to see how it looks like. So yeah, um, as you can see the pans are pretty smooth in this tripod but it's far from hydraulic. Um, far from hydraulic, like seriously, it's not hydraulic at all. Um, so excuse me about the noise because we are outside today. So here I give you some examples of, of you know, pans. I have to tighten, out, tighten down the, the, the um, screw under here so we have a better pan. So anyway, um, as you can see like the pans are smooth but it's not a, a true hydraulic head, it's just a better contact point between the uh, between the two parts where you know it pivots like this. It's just a better mount because as you can see it's not hydraulic at all although it's pretty smooth. So right now I'm waiting the uh, box with my, new P uh, with my new PC to arrive because it says it went out for, for delivery so it's gonna be here in a couple minutes or an hour or two and uh, you know just setting things up because I will be streaming uh, this afternoon so it's an it's a nice tripod I, I like it now it's out of level because the floor is out of level but uh, I love this tripod um, so this is a, a it's a cheap tripod but still this is the most expensive tripod I ever bought it was a hundred and thirty 130 BRL. Divide that by 3.10 and you get the values in, in dollars, but it's a very cheap tripod. Still the most expensive tripod I bought. And in fact this thing is freaking heavy as heck. When I took it out of the packaging I, I couldn't even believe the the weight of the tripod. Yeah, but basically if I, you know, just undo this uh, thing, I, you know, the uh, elevator has a crank. I don't know if you can see. It's not very smooth. It's very coggy. But uh, it does actually work, for some extent. Anyway, if I put it around my my height, right right over here, my eye, like eye eye height, so it's basically the level of my eyes, and turn it like this. It's at a level because the uh, I think the actual thing is at a level. Cheap stuff. So it's gonna be. Um, it's not going to be like straight right now because the actual mount is not straight. So, excuse me for that. But if I step step out some some uh, you can see, you know, it's basically at at my eye right now. I love it. I love it. And if I want to, you know, film something like I am in a crowded situation like filming a show or something, which I am doing right now. I'm actually filming some shows here and there. You know, I can pull the put the elevator all the way up like this. Tighten up the the screw down here, the screw the uh, thing, and then squeeze the legs of it to reach about I don't know 190 or 185 something. Uh, and then you know, this is be beyond like above any crowd that I can find. So I can film above crowds and things. I'm also getting a you know a a lens kit to put on the iPhone so I can zoom in on stuff. So it's really, I, I'm gonna turn this iPhone into almost a full-fledged camera. It's basically what I'm gonna do with this iPhone. 
until I get a proper camera, which is not going to be soon, because these cameras are very expensive, and, um, well, being honest, I don't see the point of getting a, a pro camera just for lenses and manual focus and things, because if I get a camera, I'm going to try to explain the reason why I don't like actual full-fledged cameras, all right? I'll just aim the camera at me, use the, the feature of this. So I'm going to explain the reason why I do not like full-fledged DSLR cameras. So, I have to buy the SD cards myself, and I would have to buy like a 64 gig card in order to record a bunch of stuff, which those are expensive. Second, there is a file size limitation on these cameras, so the file can only be a maximum of 4 gigabytes. And, uh, and then if the file size limit wasn't enough, I can only record for 15 minutes or, per, or perhaps 20 minutes or even half an hour per file on these cameras. So, I mean, spending 15,000, 1,500 BRL on a camera only, be, to be only, uh, only to be able to record like 15 minutes per file is total bullshit in my opinion. So this is one of the, one of the few moments where you guys are going to see me without, my, without my, um, my beanie because I'm actually getting bald. You can see it already. Because I am actually going bald. It's no joke. I just took a shower and, you know, lots of hair came out. See, another strand of hair. So, um, yeah, I just absolutely love this tripod. And uh, the quality is great. The legs are very thick, so even if I get a heavy camera to use on it, it's not going to break the legs or break the, uh, the plastic mounts and everything. It's a very good tripod for its price. The... A hydraulic head works fine for pans, it's not perfect, but it does actually work and does provide smooth pans. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, I'll hit you guys up um, this afternoon because I am doing a, a live stream when the, the PC, when the box with the PC parts uh, gets to me. So uh, I'll try to edit this video out and, and release it before before the stream, which is going to be rather easy. So I see you guys in the live stream. Uh, later today.